Hey Internet, welcome to World View Everlasting, your favorite YouTube addiction. Because that's what makes God happy, amen. I have a question about whether or not we as Lutherans should make the sign of the cross upon ourselves. Yes! <laughs> yes, we should. I think a lot of people view that as very Roman Catholic to do. It's because they're ignorant. They are ignorant of history. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I don't have a catechism with me right here, but I can go show you where your small catechism, the one you were trained in when you were prepared to take a vow to not depart from this faith until death, where it tells you that when you get up in the morning and before you go to sleep to make the sign of the Holy Cross and say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, because it is a symbol from most ancient times of the fact, the fact that you are baptized into the death and resurrection of Christ. It is not Roman Catholic any more than the Bible is Roman Catholic just because the Roman Catholics still use it. Walther said this, if we're going to get rid of everything that Rome uses just because Rome uses it, we have to stop being Christians because they're actually Christians. <laughs> they believe in the Trinity. They use the Psalms and the scriptures in worship. That's too Catholic. They have the Lord's Supper. Guess we better stop. What's too Catholic is something the Pope said that the Bible doesn't say and that goes against what the Bible says. That's what's too Catholic. And that's what's too Roman. Catholic, for Pete's sake, is a good word that the Romans stole from us. <laughs> <laughs> in that sense the sign of the cross is the most christian catholic thing that you could ever do because it belongs not only to the romans but to the eastern orthodox to the lutherans to the baptists to the Protestants. it belongs to all of us as an ancient sign of what baptism by scripture's power actually does namely puts you into the cross of jesus so just as he died and rose you can know you're going to rise too. That's why if you look at the Lutheran service book, which is just one in a long line of her traditional liturgies and hymnals based on Lutheranism, it's not changing things, it's not adding things, but you see this little cross in various places at the start. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, you see the sign of the cross because that's the name you're baptized into. It's a number of places, but my favorite place is in the creed. At the end of the creed, not when you talk about the cross, you could do it there, people do, but it's where you say, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. So the cross is the sign that Christ has died, but that you're going to rise. You're united with him. Why would you not want to remember that? That's all it is. It's a tool for remembering that. You ever tie a ribbon on your arm to remember something? That's too Catholic. A memory tool is not Catholic. So are you guys ready for a radical idea? What's Catholic is believing in justification by works. Which sadly, most people who make the argument too Catholic often still do. Drives me crazy. Luther, the catechism, the entire history of the Lutheran church. You cannot call yourself a Lutheran who knows Lutheranism and say the sign of the cross is too Catholic. You can say, I have a hole in my knowledge. I know all other things Lutheran and there's a gap in my knowledge. But if you want the totality of the Lutheran confession, you got to admit that it is a glorious tradition. You don't have to do it. it. took me a long time to work my way up to it. I'd never seen it until I got to seminary. And it wasn't until the very end of my last year, fourth year there, I finally was like, okay, you know what? I think I'm comfortable with this. And I started doing it. And now, <laughs> I mean, pride out of my dead hands. I'm going to be the last thing I do before I die if I have any strength left in these arms. Because... I don't want to forget. I'm baptized into Christ. In our baptismal rite, it was given to you when you were baptized. The sign was. The pastor takes the baby or the person. He says, receive the sign of the Holy Cross upon your head and upon your heart. He literally is giving you the sign of the cross as your own. To use now, he says, to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. Every time you do it, I'm marked as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. I'm remembering that I'm baptized. That's all it does. And if that's too Catholic, I want to be Catholic. It's not too Catholic. It's not papist enough at all, frankly. Sometimes they're better than us at some of these things. Like they have ways to remember your baptism when you walk into church. They teach you that it like is a good work and is a ward against evil and all this kind of crap. Don't <laughs> underestimate the power of the dark hey, side. But at least they like recognize it's got some value and should be done. We can't even remember who we are. We wonder why our churches are shrinking, you know? It serves as a reminder of our baptism. What do you have to say about this? I think you know now. Rock on. Yes! <laughs>